Welcome to Tech Brothers. In this video, we're going to learn how to use customization analysis tool in Microsoft Dynamics Lifecycle Services. The reason we need to use this tool, which is available on Microsoft Dynamics Lifecycle Services, is that Microsoft Dynamics AX is highly customizable, and you can do all kind of customization based on the needs of your organization. And there's nothing wrong with that. However, we would like to keep track of all the customization that you have done in your model or in your layer. Uh, the same thing that whether those customization uh, really follow um, Microsoft best practices or not. So this tool will take your model or your layer and um, basically go on lifecycle services based on my Microsoft best practices engine will analyze your model and let you know whether that is hurting your environment or it is um, based on Microsoft best practices. So in this video we're going to use that. There are a couple things we need before we get into um, using this tool. If you're analyzing your model we need your model file and if you're uh, analyzing your layer you need your layer and I'll show you in a second we'll create a project and I'll show you where you need uh, your uh, AX model file or your layer so we're gonna go ahead and go open Internet Explorer go to lifecycle services and log into lifecycle services And we're, we're going to go and open our project and go in Customization Analysis tool. Up here, first we need to uh, start a project. We're going to go ahead and click Add. We're going to name our project. I'm going to name Model Analysis. Underscore Dev. So this is my dev environment and my, my version of my, my Microsoft Dyn Dynamics is AX2012 and built is R2 in my case and I would like to analyze the model so you have choices right here model layer and and dump analysis so if you click on layer it'll actually give you options right here which layer would you like to analyze so right here are the options I'm going to use the model instead of layer we're gonna go ahead and click on create alright after you click on create we are on upload and uploading model if you click on add file it's looking for AX model file type which I was showing you right here AX model type file and if you would have chosen the layer then it would ask you the layer so we're going to go ahead and I'm going to quickly show you if you don't know how, how to create uh, AX model, how to export AX model from your environment. Um, I'm going to quickly show you. This is um, up here is Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012 Management Shell. You're going to go ahead right click on that and run as administrator. And we're going to go ahead and use AX Utility, axutil.exe and we're gonna see first the list how many models do I have okay as you can see that uh, I have uh, about five models keep in mind that these three models that I'm going to use in this demo tech brothers demo model or dev underscore model these model I just created they have not I have not done the data sync so uh, this these models will not have any data they will be empty however we will go through the process so main uh, focus of this video is just walking you through the process that uh, how it's uh, uh, done so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead I'm gonna show you real quick I already exported these models but I'm going to show you real quick to export one model that how you do it all right, we're going to go ahead and export one model just for this demo purposes. So we're going to use AX Util Utility again and export. And after that, we're going to use the file where we would like to um, export this file. And I'm going to provide the path. that's my directory right here dynamics ax and 
up here I would like to give a name name would be dev underscore model 2 dot ax model and then we're going to do define which model we would like to export so backslash uh, forward slash model and then the model name model name in this case would be dev underscore model and that's it and you click enter and it's gonna export a model for you so let me show you real quick right here is dev underscore model 2 dot ax file so on our Microsoft Dynamics Lifecycle Services and Customization our project we would like to upload all these model files and then we will go ahead and analyze that and we're gonna use just one model um, in, in this particular demo so we're gonna go ahead and minimize this and click on browse right here as you can see that we are on file type AX model we're gonna go ahead browse go to our directory and these are my AX model files so I'm going to choose one of these I'm going to choose techbrothers.ax model so I'm going to go ahead and upload that upload is hundred percent once the upload is hundred percent all you need to do is click on right here the button called analyze code and it'll start processing and uh, once it's uh, finished processing it's gonna create a report for us keep in mind um, it's going to take some time for for you it depends that how big your model is in my case my model is like 4 KB it's not gonna take uh, but 5 to 10 minutes but um, in your case it, it maybe your model is bigger and is going to take uh, because it needs to do a lot of processing back behind the scene so um, I would I would say that um, once you click on analyze code just let it do it this this morning comes up whether we used the right bill so we're gonna go ahead click OK and it's actually now processing back behind the scene and right here the status is zero if your status doesn't change don't worry about it for some reason it's not all that uh, uh, synced that uh, it shows right there that uh, uh, the status is uh, 20 percent 3 percent or 4 percent it's, it's it doesn't show that all it shows that once the processing is completed it generates the report right there so I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video for now and uh, once it's completed I'll be back have results back as you can look at it everything is there's no uh, errors there's no warnings and if you remember I told you that my model X model that I exported I just created and exported it and it has no data I have not done the data sync so there wouldn't be any tables anything like that but main purpose for this video was to get you through the process that how it's done uh, we can we can go ahead and look at the uh, a file up here this is Excel file so we're gonna go ahead and click on that and you can save this file uh, and you can send this uh, customization report it's basically Excel report you can send it to all the uh, interested parties so we're gonna go ahead and click open and it's it's gonna go ahead and open it and as you can see right here the performance metrics value every value or count is zero just because I don't have data in anything but main schema of this particular file is there so basically this is it this is how you um, uh, get the AX model files and upload on Microsoft Dynamic Life, uh, Dynamics Lifecycle Services it, it, it takes each model uh, file and process that model file against uh, Microsoft uh, backend engine and then create uh, generate a report for you and you can look at that report and find out how many how much customization have you done on that particular model and whether they follow Microsoft best practices or not I hope it helps